Welcome to The Mischief, I'm Valen, and this is a tutorial to help you better understand how to install and use Minecraft data packs. Now specifically, this is going to be focusing more on 113, though this can be applied to 114 and 112, uh, potentially even uh, further going ahead. So if you are sticking around here for some other reason, then you might want to click away. But otherwise, uh, I'm going to show you a little bit on how to install data packs. Like for instance, this one here allows me to shoot the uh, chorus fruit off of the, the plant. Uh, then there's another one like mechanization that adds its own like complete tech tree and crazy contraptions and inventions. Uh, there's another one here that allows me to smelt rotten flesh into uh, leather, which is quite impressive as well. Th these are similar to Minecraft mods, and that's where there's a lot of confusion with uh, data packs. They're not Minecraft mods because it's not actually modifying anything about Minecraft. It's using the existing stuff that Minecraft has in place, similar to a command block, and making things look and or perform as they would want. For instance, this one here uses a combination of a resource pack as well as a data pack. And yes, data pack is two words, even though if you go to type it into the commands, it's actually one word. It's just easier to type in the single word. So when you're searching for stuff, it might be under data pack as a single word or as a double. But if you want to see the list of what I have currently here, you just type in data pack list and it can list all of those that I currently have in. Now, this isn't really going to help you at this point because I have to show you, tell you a little bit on how to install this stuff. So, uh, yep, there we go. Look, we're getting some leather from these rotten flesh. Pretty cool. And these are all things that you can accomplish just with Minecraft and perhaps the assistance of a resource pack as well. And if you don't know what a resource pack, it's just something that changes the textures or the way that something looks. And a little side note is that things that can be changed with the data pack include uh, advancements. Uh, so therefore, you know, you've got your advancements menu here, like this uses uh, the data pack mechanization, which kind of walks you through its tech tree of all its crazy contraptions that you could potentially use. Uh, functions, loot tables, structures, recipes, tags, and potentially a little bit more. But uh, that, that's just to give you an idea. So... Next, we move on to, uh, well, let's, let's actually talk about the resource packs real briefly before we get too deep into stuff. To give an example, I have this here, and I've got kind of a pit that leads down into something that we'll better understand. So you see that this is a regular crafting table, or at least it looks similar to one. I've got more down here uh, that kind of makes sense for it. Now, you'll notice that there are some of these strange ores down here. This is actually going to be unexpected. You know, we've got copper ores, what these are. This is what it looks like naturally in the world. This is what it looks like after you've broken the uh, ore and picked it up. Uh, now, there are others as well. Uh, you might actually, I think I've got some down here of a different ore that's also in place, which is quite interesting. And to give you an idea, by center clicking and grabbing this, it's actually a player head is what's being used for this ore in, in this case. So that's that's how some of these are kind of placeholdered or used for some other devices. And if I look at this crafting table, it, it looks, you know, like there's your standard vanilla one. This is your uh, mechanism or mechanization crafting table. Now, if I were to turn off my resources, so allow me to uh, actually go into my options, resource packs, and take out the mechanization resource packs. Click done and exit back out of this. You'll notice it's just... A kind of a bounding box at this point and it, it doesn't look like it's there anymore so if I go down here and look hmm interesting so these are just textured player heads still which is why they actually still have that because you can have Minecraft look for textured player heads in the world but these things seem to have turned into wooden blocks uh, in fact we had that copper block that was out here as well and this is how a combination of a data pack as well as a resource pack can make a big difference. This one is a half slab, and these are actually petrified wood half slabs, uh, petrified oak slabs in this case. And then you've got your other ones, which are a different type of wood as well. So they're using these assets in this place. And it, like I said, in this case, you're just seeing an empty bounding box. So without the resource packs on top of this data pack, there we go. It wouldn't look quite the same as you can see here. It's now restored. And of course, the uh, the different ores that you might find in the world are returned to their natural state. Of course, the player heads uh, still are fine. And it's a really nice addition to be able to actually use them in that manner. 
So now let's get into how to actually get and install data packs. All right, so here I am on minecraftcurseforge.com. This is one of the sites that I go to for a lot of uh, trusted mods and uh, as well as you can get some data packs on here. There may be multiple other sources that you can get these as well. Uh, just make sure that when you do download them that it's from a reliable source. If you go with something that's just spamming you a whole bunch of ads all over the place then it might be uh, a little bit questionable. So be careful what you download folks. But otherwise this here is an example of one of the mods. We've got Arrow Break Chorus Fruit Flower Data Pack. Very simple. All you need to do is click here to download the file. And that, that's pretty much it. And that's for Minecraft 1.13 only. Now, if I go to something else, like uh, death coordinates, if you die, it actually displays your death coordinates on the map so that you can find them easier. You can look here. It's got Minecraft 1.14 as well as Minecraft 1.13. You'll always want to look at the different notes. Uh, this one here allows you to smelt your um, rotten flesh into uh, the uh, leather like I was showing you there. Uh, and it's got different notes on here as well. Some of these will also have instruction manuals and may have further uh, details. In this case, uh, in selection, in installation instructions can be found on the wiki, but it also does mention straight up front requires a resource pack. Make sure to get that here. Otherwise, you're just going to see things like weird half slabs growing in the world like I was seeing and showing you guys before. So once you've picked your version number and you download the files that you so desire, as you see here, I now have a few different files that I can actually, uh, you know, the rotten flesh to leather, arrow break chorus fruit, death coordinates mechanization, just to give an example in this case. Minecraft again. Let's kind of minimize this on the side so you can have kind of a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison. So what we're going to want to do is first exit. Now in this case you actually cannot have these added in before you have a world created. So you will have to have created a new world or you can add it to an existing world that you have. So let's create a new world. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's survival creative whatever you'd like it to be. It's entirely up to you. Uh, in this case let's make it amplified just for some craziness. Uh, and we're going to keep uh, cheats on so that I can show you guys a little bit of uh, what's going on easier. And a bonus chest just for reference. I, I, I don't mind really. We're going to call this one test world. There we go. Create new world. There we are. I am now in the world. A little bit of uh, terrain is generating and so on. And I can actually escape at this point. Save and quit to title. You're going to want to back out. Once the world is started, then you can edit it. So there we go. Test world is what we're looking to edit. And that's exactly what we want to do. Choose edit. And then you're going to want to open the world folder. Inside that world folder, you'll find a uh, file folder by the name of data packs. Put, open that up. And then you can take the, uh, your other folder that you have these downloaded into and put them in place. Now, in this case, I have a specific uh, reason for these. Remember that there's four of them that I have in place. I'm going to bring back my uh, Minecraft here. We're going to hit uh, save, going to continue back, and it should be good to go, right? So let's click play. There we go. I am now back in. But here's the catch. You actually still need to run a command. So if you start off by typing T slash reload, it should reload and check for those data packs. Therefore, it says, thank you for installing these. It's loaded some in there. And if you want to double check to make sure that they all were installed, you can type the command data pack list. And it should tell you all of them that are installed. Of course, vanilla Minecraft, arrow break chorus fruit, death coordinates, and mechanization. Wait, that, that's four of them, but one of them is actually vanilla. What happened? Well, in this case, it was just a little bit of an, an uh, one of these mods here, rotten flesh to leather. It's inside of itself. So you would have to actually read the installation instructions in order to install this one properly. And in this case, it's basically taking the rotten flesh to leather mod folder out of the zip file, pasting it into your data packs folder. There we go. And then I should be able to reload. And then it will actually add that to the list. As you can see here, it's now ha it now has Rotten Flesh to Leather is installed as well. And you should be able to continue on with those uh, mods installed as you would normally like to. Oh, what a, what a mess. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. How to get things installed for uh, data packs. 
how to also uh, you know look for uh, your resource packs. Now in this case I did not mention uh, installing the resource packs. I showed you that earlier on so you will want to do that in the case of mechanization uh, because it does require one to be installed for you to see things more than just like wood planks in the world. So I hope that you enjoyed. If so be sure to uh, well tell your friends have them stop on by and perhaps they'll enjoy some other tutorials. If you want to see some more information about other data packs and what they might have to offer you guys, let me know. I might uh, start putting some of those on the channel as well, because I do a lot of uh, modded Minecraft tutorial reviews and Let's Plays. But anyway, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, see you guys next time.